Hey girls, hey, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. I post body gel nail videos. So far, this is only my second one, but I will be doing um, nail videos. Not just poly gel, but today I'm giving you this Model Ones poly gel kit. I got it off of Amazon for $29.99. Um, it came with everything that a poly gel usually comes with. Nothing spectacular, but I was really excited about this one because it came with these beautiful greenish turquoise looking colors. So this first color is 045, 042, 043, 040. This one was my favorite one because it has like this gold flicker in it and it's so pretty like really really pretty 044 that 040 I, if they would just if i could just buy that one i would and 041 anyway like i said i was really excited to use this kit um there was only like five um what's it called god i went i went brain dead five reviews on it so um i thought okay this is gonna be perfect not many people have seen it so it would be good for a video and um yes yeah, so i was really excited i've tried um a lot of model ones poly gel kits before and i've always liked them um i didn't think this one was gonna be any different and um so far, I mean, this, I used, um, Gershon for the, um, nail bed, and I was gonna do, you know, French tip, and, um, and then I was gonna, like, um, rainbow the different greens and, uh, around my nail, you know, so it got to the top, but it turns out it did not, it, it didn't work out that way, um, I don't know what, I don't know if I got a defective kit. Like, maybe it got too hot. Maybe it's sitting in the heat too long. Um, because I've never come across this problem before. Not even with, like, those really cheap Amazon kits. You know, like, the ones that are, like, 10 bucks. You know, I've never came across this before in a poly gel. So, that's why I think it's maybe defective. Especially with model ones. Because they have really good products, you know. But this, the consistency was like toothpaste. And I, I, I kept trying to work with it. At first I thought, okay, it might be the slip. Um, I was using 91% alcohol. So um, you're gonna see in a minute, I switched to a model one slip solution. And um, finally I start using uh, base coat gel and that helped a lot it made it workable at least you know but um i didn't want to speed this up because i wanted to show y'all how much trouble i had like i spent so much time i spent more time on my thumb than my whole hand that's how much trouble it was giving me but uh, yeah, this, I was so excited for this kit. And this kit really hurt my feelings. Like, I was upset. It hurt me that I couldn't, you know, do more with it. So I'm going to let y'all watch me fight with this and try to get it to work. And I'll come back in a minute.
so I don't know if y'all could tell um, if it's showing up through the video, but this it's like sticky, and I thought at first maybe my brush was too wet or maybe wasn't wet enough. I don't know. I was trying everything. I really was. Like I said, I had never come across this in a poly gel, so I didn't know. But it's like when I would move it, it would... It almost it's almost like it was like breaking down I don't I don't know even know how to explain it but oh I was so disappointed but I did wind up getting it um, to work but at this point I was feeling like I was about to just scrap the whole thing I was so frustrated and but I, I worked through it and it turned out fine because this one this is one of the um prettiest sets like that i think i've done it came out really pretty and the colors the colors are so pretty y'all i can't even explain to y'all like it it's really pretty on um anyway i'm gonna let y'all um watch some more and enjoy my mess here and i'll come back and talk to you guys in a minute
Okay, so now that that 536 hours is over with, that it took to finish that thumb. So all I did right here was I uh, um, added a little bit of all the colors, and I tried to put like a little bit of light colors by the dark colors, and especially that, um, what is it, 040, my favorite color that I told y'all about. Um, it has that gold in it, so I figured if I put it by the light colors, I mean by the dark colors, that when I encapsulated it, um, it would like make it look like the gold was like floating, and um, so yeah, that's all I did, and I just put all the colors on there, and I just kind of just patted them all together, and then. Um, cured it and then on this thing on the middle finger um i put the dark turquoise i was gonna ombre it um with um that nude color from my thumb finger but the poly gel started acting up again so where i could it's like i was trying to thin it out at the um base like by my nail bed the green i was trying to thin it out like to where it wouldn't um like i was trying to blend it in so that way it wouldn't have like a bump when i put that um nude on there but it's like the more i would pat the it was just messing up so i didn't get to pat it down so when i put the nude on top it came out really thick so i wound up having to um sand it all down and redo that part anyway so that was all for nothing but not for nothing but I also put some of that gold um, that green and gold that 040 I put it on top of that dark green to give it you know a little extra kick and um, yeah it, it wound up coming out really pretty and I did the same thing as my pointer finger on my ring finger and my pinky finger so I'm gonna let y'all watch me do this and I'm gonna come back. Do y'all go back after you do your first application? Um, if you have to encapsulate any of your nails, do you go back and file your nails again before doing that? Or do you just go straight in with the clear and encapsulate? Because I never know. I always feel, especially since I started recording it, I, I kind of feel like 
I'm doing it like it's an unnecessary step. But then, I don't know. I like to make sure everything is, like, even. And This was my first time also. This was my first time doing stiletto nails. I have never done stiletto nails on myself. Um, and so I was kind of worried about that, you know, trying to get them in the right shape and keep them in the shape. I didn't want to, uh, like, let them lose their shape. Um, but, yeah, so let me know if I'm doing this for nothing because I don't know. I, I don't, I kind of feel like I am, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me know how you do it down in the comments. Okay, so these are just some little alcohol wipes that I found. I think at Family Dollar or something. And I'm just showing you that, like, I kind of even them all out. They're not all, like, bumpy. And I'm adding um, that nude color back on my middle finger because I had put too much. It was, like, too thick. So I had to file, like, most of it off. So I'm just adding some more to make the, um, the ombre look complete. And um, and then I'm gonna um, encapsulate all the um, 
all of the nails. So I might get some flack for what I'm about to say, especially because I know that McCork is on a roll right now and a lot of people swear by McCork's clear. But as of lately, I have been, especially when it comes to encapsulating things, I have been grabbing my model ones before my McCork. Um, McCork's is clear, it is clear. But somewhere down the line, it starts getting cloudy and it, it doesn't happen for me with my model ones. My model one stays looking glassy. And um, yeah, so I've been using, when it comes to my, um, when it comes to encapsulating things, I've been grabbing my model ones a lot more than, than my McCourts. I'm not saying anything bad about McCourts because I love McCourts Clear, but um, I've just been using um this one and liking this one a lot more lately so remember i told you guys this was my first stiletto set so i try to um get them um as stiletto as i could get them and um yeah, I had really, I really had a lot of fun making this set, even though it was so hard at the beginning. Um, they started coming out, you know, good. I just, it took me a while to get it done and to learn, you know, to use the base coat gel. And even with the base coat gel, I still had problems, but they came out workable. So, which was, you know, all good. Would I buy this again? I don't think so. I would buy that one color though. If they had that just that one, I would. And it's pretty enough to where I think that um, it being sticky is um, okay because it's so pretty. But um, <clears throat> anyway, so um, if y'all have any tips or tricks to um, filing stiletto nails, can y'all let me know in the comments? Because just to me, this wasn't it didn't come as natural to me it didn't come as easy to me filing these nails as like coffin or square does i don't maybe it's just because it's my first time and um but i do like the way um they look on my fingers i didn't think that stiletto would be made for my hands but i really like them <clears throat> and um even after i finished this set i still filed more like like right now they're still not perfect um in the video but after the video I, I you know I kept filing and I finally got them now like how they look now um, to where I like them and um, you know they're snatched and sharp you know but uh, yeah I could always use some pointers because like I said it didn't come natural to me like or not natural but it, it wasn't easy for me to um, file them like this 
So after I file, I get my not polish uh, matte top coat and I put it on my nails. I did put some rhinestones on there, but my hand wasn't in the viewfinder, so I didn't get to put it in the video. I'm sorry. But do you see the gold I was talking about? I really hope you guys like this video and I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.